This is his journey so far. After growing weary of the usual gaming routine, he craved a change of pace. Turning to fighting games for a fresh challenge, he found himself faced with a crucial decision. Which game to choose? Thanks to Game Pass, the choice was made easier. Selecting his character, he delved into learning the basics, honing his skills until he could execute intricate combos with ease. Now, the ultimate test awaits, challenging the tower. Can he emerge victorious and claim his place among the elite? In this life, there is a disparity in everything. For each subject, there are people on the top and people on the bottom. If we talk about money, there are the rich and the poor. And if we talk about intelligence, there are the smart and the stupid. This disparity is what makes our world balanced. No matter how hard you try, there are always things you don't know. And this makes us always in need of each other. I know this is a fact, but I have been using this as an excuse to not try working hard. I have always thought there are people who will be better than me anyway. No matter how hard I try, I am 7 at best and 0 at worst. But recently, I have been wondering how does it feel to be among the smallest percentage of the elite. Lately, I am enjoying fighting games and start learning Guilty Gear Strive. It's not a role that I want to reach the Calistius floor, the highest one. I start by learning some basic combo and landing them in online matches. Check these two videos, I think they turned out good. Now, because I was stuck on the 6th floor last time, I need a new plan. I start watching a lot of tournaments to see how the flow of the game works. I consumed a lot of content that advised noobs like me on how to become good at the game. I also read guides and watch tutorials on specific characters, learning their strength, weakness, and much ups. This helped me understand the game mechanics better and improve my own playstyle. And here I am, ready to come back to the tower. Armed with the new knowledge and determination, this time I am aiming for the celestial floor. Day 1 It's been 4 months since I last played Guilty Gear Strive. My game pass expired and I was busy working on the FGR project. Check the link below. I jumped back in where I left off, starting on the 6th floor. The first match went surprisingly well, especially since I was familiar with most of the matchups. The players on this floor were relatively easy to break through. But the moment I hit the 8th floor, everything changed. Facing unknown matchups was a nightmare. My usual move just didn't work. Oxen range stopped my standing bar dead in its track. And that fight the guy with the machine gun and space laser. How I am supposed to counter that on the fly? Frustration set in as I got knocked back to the 7th floor. But tomorrow is another day, and they have a plan. Day 2. Today's plan is simple. If I lose to a character I don't know, I won't rematch much against it. Easier said than done, I found it hard to walk away after a loss and kept rematching. Luckily, today wasn't tough. The player I faced were close to my skill level. By focusing on learning as much as possible from each match, I managed to reach the 9th floor. However, Potem can still give me nightmares and Biking and Jack were tough to play against. The moment I reached the floor 9, my luck ran out. I kept losing. In the last half hour, I dropped back to the 7th floor. <sighs> At least I learned a lot about different characters. Let's keep this moment going and do even better tomorrow. Day 3. A new day has started and they talk about trying something different. Fighting outside the tower. There are a lot of killer players out there. Some even at level 800. I figured it wouldn't hurt to lose here and I could rematch as much as I want. So I played against this Johnny player and got absolutely destroyed. It was brutal and they started adopting my plan, my tactics and my skills. Maybe this whole thing isn't for me and I should just stick to watching cool tournaments. But wait, that's definitely wrong. No one was born knowing everything. If my tactics aren't working, I just need to find a new one. I dove into dust loop, reading frame data and more information about my character. I started thinking of a new way to open up my opponent. I definitely needed a new combos to convert any hit into a big damage. I began using burst meter more strategically by using its assault mechanics and stop being afraid of air combos. I notice a lot of pro K player use air conversion probably because they allow for more corner carry. With this in mind, I came up with the combo that I could adjust based on the resource I have during a match. Every Roman council give me time to think about which road to use, but all this is useless if I can't hit my opponent and they keep blocking. He needed to present more options. My strategy had been cycling between overhead moves and low attacks. But I learned that Founder Arc isn't actually an overhead thanks to Dust Loop, leaving me with only one overhead option, the Dust Move. I had been avoiding this move because the follow up is entirely in the air, which I know nothing about. But earlier while working on the air conversion, I learned about the gullet combo in the air. However, I can't spam the same button twice or it will send the enemy down, preventing any long combo and big damage. I found that I just needed to cycle between buttons. The longest and the easiest combo I discovered was 
jump slash, jump dust, jump slash, jump dust, dash cancel, jump kick, jump dust, jump dust. With all this in mind, I just had to start applying it in matches. It might sound like I discovered all of this in one hour, but actually it took me three days of losing to find this road of knowledge. And just as I return to the tower, they release a new character. Once again, I'm slow in this journey. This time, the newest character is Slayer. His damage is insane, and his mix-up are enough to give you epilepsy. It's okay, I just have to stick to my plan. Here is how it went. My first match was against Happy Kite, a character that is incredibly annoying to fight. There is something about his use of guns that make the concept of range meaningless, and every shot feel like getting hit by a hammer on the head. I'm not sure if it's just me, but this matchup is really frustration. However, if I stay focused and keep my mental game strong, I can win. I just need to apply what I have participated in training. Remember, you also have moves that can bypass neutral, and combined with Roman Cancel, you can land a big combo if you find an opening. And here it is. He used all my tension meters, so I had to rely on my burst meters to secure a kill. And yes, I did it. On the next match. Between each match, I came back to the training room. I remember something I saw on YouTube. If I cancel the burst rush into jump cancel, I gain a lot of momentum. The easiest way to preserve it is to keep spamming punches, and this will give you a high chance of breaking the wall from nearly anywhere on the screen. I just have to find a good setup. And here it is. Now let's do it in actual match. Funny enough, the first enemy I encounter is the same character I practice the spamming technique against. I have a full burst and one tension. This can work on the first try. I have to do it now. Yo, it actually works! Yes. The next challenger was Abba, a character that can be hard and easy at the same time. What I know is I just have to be ready for her Danzai move, a scary overhead. It is hard to react when your eyes is not familiar with all moves animation. You have to be patient. Now I am forced in the corner. I just have to find a chance to switch side. I can just jump. Her Danzai can hit me. I just need to wait. And her ultimate whip, which means I have chance to win. Switch side first. Then learn the simple combo. This feel amazing. Winning is always good. Let's see who is next. Slayer is the latest addition to the game. Everyone is playing him and he is literally a blender. His mix-up is insane. I'm afraid to press any button. I just waited for his mappa punch so I can start attacking. Now is my turn. Judging by this situation, I have half burst and one tension meters. What I will do is I land the half combo, then Roman Council finish it with bam bam bam, you know the air combo, you will see it. Great, now I get the positive bonus, I will get him more tension, so I have to be careful. Slayer ultimate will kill me. I can't spam button. I just need an opening. Just wait. And here it is! Oh, no, he has a burst. Wait again. Here is the opening. This time I have a half burst and two tension meters because spawning punches does not deal a lot of damage and they have to win in this interaction. I will go the other arrow that I made before. Instead of going bam 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 bam, I will go the sub say so ultimate row. I did it. Let's go. It feels amazing when the plan works. For the next, I will try to land the dust follow up, and the strategy for now is to do it after I land the throw. Since most of the players tend to block high when they wake up, the first three attempts were not perfect. Then this happened. Everything is going smoothly. Yes, my floor progression in the tower is low. I am currently stuck on the 8th floor, and the highest I have reached is the 9th floor. But I am happy. Seeing this progression is great, and I am doing things I have never thought I could do. You may think learning a combo and landing it in a match is enough, but that's just the beginning. You can truly really get better by stopping there. The real progress starts when you begin adjusting combo routes based on the situation you are in. That's when your true experience shines. 
What made this clear to me was my struggle to reach the 10th floor for the past week. Like, if you count from when I start learning combo, it's been a month. But then I saw a fighting game YouTuber reach that silly cell floor in just 20 minutes. It's kind of frustrating to see someone fly by something that you find super hard, but experience never lies. And I am new, so of course, this will be hard for me. There are tons more things I have to learn before I have a chance to reach the silly cell floor, and that's okay. If you run away every time something gets hard, you will never be great at anything. That's why I am starting my real challenge. I will play Guilty Gear for a whole week, from 8am to 8pm and stream the whole thing. So guys, if you are interested in seeing how much a noob can progress in just one week, you are welcome to join my stream from June 13 to July the 6th. The Silly Seal Marathon will begin. If you have any advice, feel free to leave a comment or catch me live on Twitch. The link will be below. Again, if you reached this part of the video, you are cool. And thanks for watching. I have also made these other videos.